Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So it's very cold, it's very wet and I've been trying out a new charge point. Um, so we generally use an Omi and a Zappi at home um, but I've been trying out this ratio uh, charger for uh, about three months now. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really, really nice product. Um, and so I thought I'd, I'll show you the unboxing that we did and the installation video. And then at the end, I'll give you my thoughts on it. unboxing so at some point I hope to show you the IO7 as well which is their commercial bollard unit which is like a kind of lighting bollard with EV charge points that's really nice so this is just a, a demo unit they've sent me. So part of the fascia. It's nice you get a kit with some glands, uh, some screw covers, and it looks like the, um, the connections for the CT clamp and Ethernet if you need them as well. And uh, but this is a nice touch. Again, because it's a, an oval shape. Get a nice template for uh, screwing into the wall or drilling into the wall and you have uh, the details the bluetooth details which allow you to log on to the unit for the commissioning process i'll show you that later so one of the usps of these units is the coiled cable uh, now we can have a look at that in more detail later, but obviously one of the reasons they went for this option of the coil cable is to give uh, a neater sort of, when the cable's wrapped away, it looks neater than if you've got a cable that's coiled around quite a few times. It can stretch up to around, we're talking about four, four and a half meters. Recommend keeping it around two and a half to four meters if you can. Um, for the most part. And then we have the charger itself. And then the holster. So as I said before, one of the things that attracted me to this was the nice, simple, inconspicuous design. Another sort of USP really is the mounting system. So if I unplug this, take the face off again, this can be mounted on the wall without accessing the internals uh, which is nice for a, a couple of reasons especially if you're installing and it's raining um, which does happen from time to time even though beautiful today so um, yeah so you're not getting this sort of internal circuitry wet when you're doing the installation and that's because we have these access holes at the front here you're using a long screw bit which have the holes to be drilled just under here so uh, we can put our bits through there. We carry long bits, which we use all the time for EV chargers. So uh, yeah, four mounting holes to either side and you don't even need to take the cover off. So your time spent uh, with the, the PCB and the internal electronics on display is minimal. Then uh, you use a torque screwdriver, just show you that. Torque screwdriver to access the internals and that's where you do uh, the wiring um, and wire it into your cable using your EV Ultra cable or 6mm SWA or whatever you want to use. And then once the installation's complete, it's fascia, super easy, super neat to click into place. If you want to take that off 
quite simple to access that if you know where to. Loosen it off. Obviously I'm doing this one-handed but the face comes back off. Although the name ratio is fairly new uh, to people like myself, you can tell looking at the build quality of the unit and the design that these guys have got experience in designing EV charge points um, and they've done thousands and thousands in Europe already. Okay, so we're going to have a go at mounting the charger now on uh, post. Obviously, we've got a lot going on here, we've got existing chargers. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I've lost my voice since I filmed the unboxing video. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a go at sticking this on. Obviously, because it's wider than the post, I've just put these uh, laths on that I've got available, just so we've got something to mount it on. But normally, you'd be screwing it onto a wall, so you'd be marking it out. So I'll have a go at installing the charger. So as you probably saw in the unboxing video, you've got the face on here. And that has uh, some little clips at the back. And get in to loosen that off. Makes it nice and easy to fit. Then you've got the inside of the charger and then using a long drill bit, you can drill the holes that you need and drop the screw in these holes at the back and then tighten them up by going through the front. So you'll need a long driver bit, um, something like that. I actually like to use these uh, saber cut ones, which you can get off uh, Amazon. Find the last really well, they're really tough, um, and you can get them in all sorts of different lengths. That's the mounting, which is super easy. Uh, then we can get the the star drive bit for these so we can take the cover off. Oh, some my safe screws. Ah, missed one. <laughs> okay. So, nice sticker on it as well so you know it's the correct model, the IR5. So I'll we'll just try and get some B-roll of the inside. You can see you've got the uh, the main terminals there for the incoming. You've got the ethernet connection here if you need it. And then that's the connection for the optional CT clamp. So you've got cable entries at the bottom here. And then there is a cable entry at the back there. I'll just make the hole at the bottom. Get a gland on there. Okay, so. Get this word in. Excellent, okay. Just get the cover on. So there we are. So I'm happy, are you happy? Oh yeah. Great. So the installation was uh, pretty straightforward in the end. Um, you can see how easy it is to fit. It's quite bright, but there is a green light on the, uh, the power. So the next thing to do is get it hooked up to the app after I've tidied away my tools. Okay, so now the power's on. I'll just set my screen to record this. Now the power's on. I've created my profile and I can log in on the app. So, add a charger. Okay, excellent. You get the details to log on to the charger using the Bluetooth. You can only change settings if you're logged in uh, via Bluetooth, so when you're in the vicinity and you have the passcode. So obviously if you're an engineer, um, you, you want to keep the passcode somewhere where the customer doesn't access it really unless they have to. So you don't want to make in change, changing settings to do with low balancing and things like that. So once the charge is added, you can connect it to Wi-Fi, which I'll do in a second. You can go through, stupid fly, 
Uh, yeah, set the charging currents. You can set the Uh, your home current, yeah, yeah. So uh, your home fuse rating, um, whether it's on single phase or three phase. If you've got a three phase version of the charger, so yeah, and I'll connect it to the Wi-Fi. Okay, excellent. So that was again, that was like super quick, uh, five minute setup. So yeah, so the next step now, uh, we'll uh, get the car, or the van probably, plug it in and try and charge it up. And then what I'm gonna do is use it for a uh, couple of weeks, and then let you know what we think of it. Several months later. So you can see the charge point down here. Um, yeah, we've been using it for about three months now. Um, and I've gotta say, it's a really solid product. It's well built. Uh, it's bomb proof and it just works. It's not overly complicated. Um, there's definitely people who we do install for who would benefit from having, for, by having something like this um, rather than something where it's got tons of settings that can be changed um, because it just works. You set the timer on it and it, t it charges between those times and you plug it in and it works every night without fail. Um, so that's brilliant. I think it's a nice subtle looking unit as well. Um, obviously you'll get to see some B-roll of it. It's other USP is this coil cable. So I would say um, if you're parking further away, it's a five meter cable, but coiled up realistically, you want to be using that within two or three meters of where your charge point's located. So if you've got it in a really handy location on the drive next to where your charger, where, where your car's parked, then this is brilliant. It stores up much more neatly because I've seen it time and time again. People get bored of coiling the cable around and they just leave it traipsed all over the floor. This is a much neater solution in that situation. Maybe it's something that would suit you. So make sure you check it out and get a quote from us. Sorry, my arm was getting tired then. So yeah, I'm dead pleased with it. If there's anything else you want to know, make sure you drop me a, drop me a comment um, below and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on it. Obviously, we'll, we'll be able to get some pricing on it, but um, yeah, it's, it's cheaper than a Zappi. And obviously, the technology comes from a European company, so it's proven itself over there already. Um, and now they're coming to the UK market and I think it could be a big hit. If you want to see any of our uh, future videos on other technologies as well as EV charging, I'm going to try and do another Tesla video shortly talking about that. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to get notifications of our future videos. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.